Oz. Welcome back after a very relaxing two week break. We hope that you children enjoy the, in the rest of the, this otherwise a very long term. Hopefully some of you managed to use the time to take a short break rather than taking children out of school during term time. Generally, feedback we've had from parents have been positive. If you would like to offer any feedback, please find one of SLT on the playground before and after school or email the office. The uniform next Friday and join us in celebrating our children in need fundraising day by coming to school in your pajamas. All the staff will be joining in and donning the dressing gowns and slippers and supporting their best bed hair to raise money for this worthy charity. We have had fantastic success in previous years with the school dressing up for children in need and we hope this will continue this year. Whatever donation you can to support the great work that children in need do across the whole UK, all money should be handed to either the class teacher or the school office and keep an eye out for members of staff with buckets on the playground on that day. Please bear in mind the weather has become much colder in recent days and with no sign of improvement. So do ensure your child is appropriately dressed. Onesies are of course hugely encouraged. I can't wait to see everyone on a fun packed day. A reminder to all parents that the playground gates are open from 8.45am and close at 9 every morning. If you arrive after this time, you will need to go to the school office to sign your ch children in. This is also a result in your children receiving a late mark for that morning. It is incredibly important that all children are in class to begin the day on time as missing even as little as 10 minutes of the morning can impact upon their learning for the rest of the day. Remembrance. Early, earlier this week, all of Year 6 has children visited the Tower of London to see the incredible, to, to see the incredible display of poppies, to commemorate those members of the Commonwealth who have lost their lives in war. There were over eight, 888,000 individual poppies, and it really is an amazing sight. If you haven't yet seen it, I urge you visit. It's less than 30 minutes on the tube from Upney. Our radio station is really taking off and it's become very popular with the children. We are now going to be trialling a radio assembly every Friday afternoon. This means that instead of all the children coming down to the hall for assembly on a Friday afternoon, they will listen to the radio station in their classrooms and we'll have a 30 minute interactive broadcast featuring children sharing work, cele some celebrations and a song too. One real beauty of this is that parents and relatives all over the world can tune in and join us for our assemblies on a Friday. To tune in, click the radio line on the home page of the school website. You can listen on smartphones and tablets too. If you manage to catch the show, please let us know what you think. With the success of our previous film nights at Eastbury, we are pleased to announce that we will be screening the film Maleficent on November 21st at 6pm. Tickets will be available to buy from the school office from Tuesday at a cost of £1 per ticket. All children must be accompanied by a reasonable adult at all times. We would like to thank the hard-working parents who are giving up their time to organise this event. Signing orders for your children's photos is November the 18th. We will not be able to accept any orders after that stage. 